All right. Probably recognize this. This is the Amazon Echo Show 15. The problem is it has a power supply. It's very short, first of all. Six feet. And has a very odd sized barrel DC plug. It's a 6.5 millimeters by 2.5 millimeters, I believe. So you need 18 volts, 30 watts. It's a problem because if you want to run it cleanly through a wall, it's going to look bad. So there are two options here. There is this Alpha Network PD1000 PoE splitter. And the reason why this is nifty is because it's got 5 volt, 9 volt, 12 volt, most importantly, 18 volt adjustable output. And it does greater, 30 watts or greater. And then there's the Cento power. It works exactly the same way. It's switchable, 5 volt, 9 volt, 12 volt, 18 volt. And it, that goes to a max of 30 watts. I'm going to run this PoE over a small TP link switch as you can see here it's uh four ports of poe four ports um, without poe i'm going to use this poe texas tester to show cento power getting about 18.01 volts and the alpha network getting about 18.46 volts so both of them are in the range and would and do work. For those of you who haven't used a PoE splitter before, essentially what it does is you take a PoE network switch, it's basically pushing power through the Ethernet cable into here. So through one cable, you get power and data. And then on the other side, it separates it. So you get data out and then you get power out. In this case, it's sending power out through a 5.5 by 2.5 millimeter DC barrel plug. And then you can use Cat5 and up to get the data. Okay, before you cut a hole in your wall, I want to walk you through the steps really quickly. Step one is to plug in your network switch, which should have 30 watts per port. For me, I plugged that in in the basement. Step two, you want to take a CAT cable. For me, I use a CAT 6A Ethernet cable. Run it from your network switch, one of your PoE Plus ports, to your splitter. Make sure that splitter is set to 18 volts. You will go on a step down from whatever your network switch is sending, and then set step that down using the splitter to 18 volts. All right, the final step, step three, is to connect the splitter with a male to male 5.5 millimeter to 2.5 millimeter cable um, to your Echo Show 15. Optionally, if you want to hardwire the ethernet, the network, if you're not using Wi-Fi, you can use an adapter that goes from the splitters, ethernet output, network output port to the adapter that connects to the Echo Show 15. I'm not doing that, I'm just using the Wi-Fi at my home, but I have done that at work, which is necessary on some enterprise networks. Okay, now comes the fun part where we cut a hole in our wall, we check and make sure the right voltage is still coming through. Sometimes you lose a little bit when you extend over a long network. I'm only going 30 feet, so still 18.01. Good shape to plug it in. This will be behind the Echo Show, but if you do want to tidy it up a little bit, keep some cold air from traveling through the wall, I'd recommend this little plate. And now that we've got the wire running through, we connect it to the Echo Show. And it's nice and cleanly mounted now. No more wires wrapping around or hanging down. It's nice and clean looking and functions well. Running at 30 watts and 18 volts. Hopefully this quick guide has been useful to some of you who are either in a similar position trying to power an Echo Show 15 
without installing an outlet or a cessed outlet, um, or you just want to learn more about power over ethernet, you can find more info in the description. Thanks.